All right, let's uh, start off the spitball with uh, got him in Hurley. What is this? <laughs> got him in a Hurley. Oh, okay. Dan Hurley will take over as UConn's head coach after they fired Kevin Ollie. Get the out of here. Uh, they, he took the University of Ro- Rhode Island, also known as URI, which honestly sounds way too close to UTI. UTI, UTI yeah. So they should say Rhode Island. Um, to the tourney two years in a row now. Um, the brother of Dan Hurley. I mean, I'm sorry, that is Dan Hurley. Bobby. Hurley. <laughs> the brother of Bobby Hurley, who is famous for his uh, his dookiness, and his father was a high school coach in New York for a long time, who's super famous out here. So, uh, congratulations to Dan Hurley, who will take over UConn and try and regain that glory that Jim Calhoun left behind when he uh, he jettisoned. So, uh, dare to Zatlan. <laughs> Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Just left Manchester United and has signed with the LA Galaxy. No. $3 million dollar deal. So How much? Another $3 million. Oh, Nick, is he their designated player? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so at this point because Manchester United doesn't want his rights. Okay. So at the moment, he's fully... The, the rights to Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the LA Galaxy. So I don't know if later on it gets designated. But yeah, that's a pretty cool move because this guy still got it. And he's a very, very popular soccer player. That's sick. Uh, talk about growth. Twitter sports tracked the weekend growth of UMBC Athletics, the Twitter account, which gained more than, ready for this, 100,000 followers in 60 hours. Ooh. Is that not like, I, I was expecting more of a reaction. That's a lot. Yo, you're talking to Joe Sangato. Yeah, right? that's true. I've never gained that <laughs> in my life. Uh, the account gained roughly 25,000 followers uh, just in the 10 to 11 p.m. hour on Friday, and then 32,000 total from 10 p.m. to midnight that night. Uh, talk about the come up. I know the the Ringer actually changed their name for a while to like uh, the, the, the their their picture, and I forgot what they. Whoever said, ran they that Twitter account. Was killing it, like yeah. I just shout out to th- that whole. That's uh, wild. Yeah. Probably some kind of intern got a raise. Word. Yeah, oh, he's he's probably getting like Crazy poached. Yeah, other, I'm telling you, other other colleges are trying to get that guy or a girl or a girl. Yeah. Uh, where the boxing cash at? Dana White's trying to get in the boxing game. He started Zufa boxing and he's targeting none other than the most exciting boxer backs are out there right now. Anthony Joshua. I didn't even say boxer. Most exciting oh. backer. The most exciting Baxter and boxer, Anthony Joshua. Uh, he's the heavyweight champ and a professional beast. Uh, so it's definitely now, you know, Dana White's involved. So, you know, you know what comes next. Is the UFC next for Anthony Joshua? That would be fire. So, listen. Yo, I don't think he would do that bad. He's huge. No one in he the heavyweight get, division's like. He would get pummeled. <laughs> Yo, Ooh. boxing is a martial art. Ooh. It's called mixed martial arts. Yeah, but you got to get that. Joshua if, you got get no, if you've got no ground game, Joey Yo. will tell you. If Yo, you got no ground thing, game, right? no takedown game, you got you can't survive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we saw what happened with Nagano, but I'm saying, like, that guy has beat everyone, and he can't fucking do anything on the ground. I mean, he submitted some people, but, like... So so here's the thing, right? Uh, I actually wanted this to be my slip ball, and then something else came up, but you can now wager on Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather in an MMA-sanctioned fight. Mm. Conor McGregor is a bigger favorite in that than Mayweather. Undefeated boxer was in a boxing fight. So huh. that goes to tell you... Just how lopsided that kind of match oh, is. Oh, one hundred percent. I do wonder though, Conor McGregor's in his athletic prime. I do wonder if that would be the case if Mayweather wasn't almost fifty. Good point. I I don't. I, I still mean, think he'd beat the shit. I think most people in the UFC can beat Mayweather easily. He's not almost fifty. He's that, like I, I think he's like forty, forty one. I mean, that's almost fifty. <laughs> No, but my my thing is like Anthony Josh is like a heavyweight. In the heavyweight, it's way in the heavyweight division, it's way different than like fucking you know in, in McGregor's thing where people That's are true. you know submitting and like doing whatever. These guys just like punch at each other until they gas out. That's yeah, the most part. Too. But Stipe would do what he did. Like the same, we're saying Stipe because he's the champ right now in the UFC. Stipe's but beating him, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, but like it's it's a mismatch there. You're going into his. You're going into the cage. It's com- completely different animal. Yeah. Like you said, you got to worry about a head kick, a takedown, a submission. It's mad shit. Where, sure, if he's going to stand up and box it, if it's a wrap, I'm, I'll bet everything that I have, which isn't much, on Joshua. <laughs> I think if he trained like BJJ for like a year, nah. Then try. You know, you know who trained BBJ? Fucking CM Punk. BJJ. BJJ. B double J. What if Nick's boy? What if they trained? Yeah, but CM Punk's an like an actor. 
Damn, yo, Nick, get this kid. I mean, he's not an actor. But... What? But what if he trained for BJ's for a year? I've been training. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Joshua, Anthony Joshua was actually in Vegas when we were there too. We saw him at the craps table. This guy's a tank. Massive. Guy's yeah, just, massive. Yeah. Uh, cleared. Clear. Uh, da- speaking of actor, uh, um, sports entertainer Daniel Bryan, the Woo! innovator and creator of the Yes Movement, Yes Chance, uh, has been cleared to return to wrestling. And uh, one of the reasons why it's very significant is because with all the things going on with CTE and uh, concussions, he's actually going to dedicate his brain to those studies when the time comes. Nice. So this is big, right? Because this is a guy that was told he had to retire because of this issue. Now he's going to come back, compete, be in a ring, and then he's going to have his brain be donated after. So you're going to be able to examine the before, after, before and after kind of thing. So it's a pretty big move. And yes, I am definitely excited for this too. Yo, on, on that note as well, shout out to uh, people who donate organs. If you're not an <laughs> organ donor... Get on that list. Yo, you save lives. Yo, first of all, <laughs> donating your brain, that's thats a power move. That's kind of wild. Yeah. I'm down to donate my brain when it's all said and done. Why I kinda, not? I kind of want my brain. What are we going to do with it? Yeah, it's true. It's, 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 it's going to be worm food, bro. As long as you got your that's heart. Like, that's like taking a nice, fresh chicken breast and just throwing it in the garbage. It could be used to, to do things yeah, with. But if it's my chicken, I'll do what the fuck I want with it. <laughs> uh, here's Johnny. Scouts from 13 NFL teams were on hand to watch Johnny Manziel throw at the San Diego oh, State man. Pro Day. Uh, New England Patriots, Chicago Bears, Chargers, uh, New York Giants, Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, Nick is pissed. I said the Giants. The Giants were there. Uh, yeah, the Jets are going to be there. Hold too on. <laughs> Jets. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oakland Raider, Oakland Raiders. Uh, Tennessee Titans, Detroit Lions, Jacksonville Jaguars, Carolina Panthers, Tampa Bay Bucks were represented. It seems like a bunch of teams that need backup quarterbacks. It makes sense. You know what's funny? No, all those teams need backup quarterbacks except for the two teams that we root for. <laughs> yeah, we have like the Jets have five quarterbacks on their roster. Well, we got the we got two teams that have the second and third pick in the draft. So if we want a quarterback, we we can have one. If you really want. My whole life.